The previous example considered the discrete random variables x and y. This example considers the continuous random variables x1 and x2. So here's the problem. Let x1 and x2 be random variables with joint probability density function f of x1 x2 is equal to x1 times x2 on the support 0 is less than x1 is less than 1 and 0 is less than x2 is less than 2 are the random variables x1 and x2 independent. Well the first thing that can be done is to draw a picture of the support of x1 and x2. So x1 goes from 0 to 1 and x2 goes from 0 to 2. So the support for the random variables x1 and x2 is this rectangle right there and because it is a rectangular region that is a product space and because it is a product space there is a chance that x1 and x2 will be independent random variables. So what we are trying to show at this point is to show independence we have to show that the joint distribution f of x1 x2 is equal to the product of the marginals fx1 of x1 fx2 of x2. So that means we've got to find these two marginals. So let's start with the first marginal f of x1 of x1. To find the marginal of the random variable x1, we want to integrate out x2 out of the uh, joint probability density function. So this will be x1 times x2. We're trying to integrate out x2. And what are the limits? Well, x2 ranges from 0 up to 2. This integrand x1 is going to be constant with respect to x2 so we get x1 times x2 squared divided by 2 and that is evaluated from 0 to 2 and when you plug in x2 equals 2 this will give you 4 halves and 4 halves is the same as 2 times x1 and when you plug in 0 you just get 0 so this is 2x1 and remember this is the marginal for x1 and x1 will be defined between 0 and 1 and that is the marginal distribution for x1 now the marginal distribution for x2 you will integrate out x1 out of the joint probability density function and in this case when you're integrating out x1 x1 ranges from 0 to 1 these are easy marginals to find because the uh, distribution is pretty simple um, x2 is constant with respect to x1 the uh, integral of uh, x1 is going to be x1 squared divided by 2 that will be evaluated from 0 to 1 and when you plug in 1 for x1 you get x2 divided by 2 and when you plug in 0 you get 0 so there is the marginal distribution and since this is with respect to x2 x2 can range from 0 to 2 so back to the original question is the joint distribution equal to the product of the marginals so let's check is it the case that f of x1 x2 which is the product of x1 and x2 is that equal to this is what we're checking is that equal to the product of the marginal for x1 and the marginal for x2 Well, the marginal for x1 turns out to be 2 times x1. And the marginal for x2 is x2 divided by 2. 
those twos cancel and when they do you just get x1 multiplied by x2 and so it is the case that the joint is equal to the marginal so the answer to the question are x1 and x2 independent is yes those are independent random variables.